What's going on guys, it's day 3 of the Black Ops 3 beta on the PlayStation 4. Today they upped the level cap, added a new game mode. So we are checking that out right now, it's called Safeguard. It's different than anything that's been in a Call of Duty game before. In this, one team has a robot that they have to escort to the other side of the map into a certain area. And the other team's trying to defend against that, and then you switch sides. So in this gameplay, we already won the first round, we escorted our robot, now we are on defense. This game mode's pretty fun, some slight changes to it would be beneficial, I'll go through what I think could make it a little bit better. It's definitely a game mode where you're gonna get plenty of kills, so for people that like that, this will be great. So this is definitely a game mode that'll be a lot of fun when you're playing as a team. When you're escorting the robot, you have to have someone pretty close to it for it to move. And you have a lot of flanks you can get shot from. So you definitely have to coordinate with your team on who's going to be covering what way as you go. The robot goes on a preset path that is the same every time. You can't determine which way it's going to go or anything. So you can kind of plan out your, your plan of attack and how you guys want to handle it. Now when you're on defense, you can shut down the robot by inflicting a certain amount of damage to it or just getting any of their players that are near it off, and then it won't move anymore. I've played it on all the maps that are currently available, and it seems like most of them, the path the robot travels on, is designed to have it be in an open area where it's kind of like a big, I guess, field where you can get flanked from many different sides and then it'll go in a building and you'll be in some tight hallways for some close quarters encounters. So it, it offers a variety of gameplay options throughout the stages of the robot's path. And it definitely gets really intense when you get to the end and your robot's almost there but they've set up right on the zone. So they're just killing anyone that gets near it and shutting down your robot over and over. It can be a real grind, and I've played a few matches where we were literally three feet away from the zone and we could not get it in. And also been on the defensive side and done that, which is a lot of fun. Your team will just be surrounding the final area, shooting at anything that moves, trying to shut down the robot as soon as it restarts, keeping anyone away from the area. And it's, it's just moments like this that make the game mode fun. Something I think that if they could add in would make the game mode better is just giving you a little more control over the robot. Uh, most of the maps, if not all, are kind of three lane maps and I wish there were certain points where you could choose the path the robot's gonna go on. Or if you're playing competitively or in a private match you could assign someone to be like kind of the leader of the robot and have them pick which path to go. Like on this map, there's there's a bridge on one side and caves on the other, and it would be great to be able to choose to go in the caves, which is a longer path, but it's all covered so you won't have to worry about score streaks taking you out. Or you could just do the straight on path through the middle where it's all open, but you could be getting score streaks rained down on you and it's more open for people to pick you off from the sides. So I think that would have added a little more strategy into it instead of having it just be the same path over and over and over again. I think it could also be cool to have an option to use either your specialist perk or one of your score streaks to possibly, in a way, kind of upgrade the robot, maybe add like a trophy system to it real quick or something, because you can take it out with probably three or four rockets. So if your team actually focuses on it, it shouldn't be too hard to take the robot down. You could also have the option to add more armor to it to protect it from gunfire or melee damage. And by doing that, it would just add a little extra strategy to how you're using your score streaks or specialist ability. So those are two little things I'd love to see added in. Probably won't happen, but overall I think this is a fun game mode, a nice change of pace from everything we're used to so far. It's not really just a variation on anything else, it's kind of its own thing. And it does have some great moments in it that you'll have with your team, and it requires some strategy, but you can get away playing Lone Wolf. 
I'm excited to see what Treyarch adds tomorrow. I'm sure they're going to up the level cap one more time, let people get to the max level and unlock everything they can. Be sure to check back to see what happens. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. A lot of great games coming out this fall, and they're all going to be right here. Coming up next week, we have the Gears of War Ultimate Edition, Until Dawn, and Disney Infinity 3.0 Star Wars. So it should be a lot of fun. Thanks again for watching. I hope to see you guys on the next one.